Hello, how are you? Haven't seen you or been um, here live for a little while. I do apologize. I had a terrible migraine. It hit me right here on the side of my head, went down the back and it was so bad I couldn't see. It was really, really bad. So I've um, spent a lot of days sleeping. My eyes gone back to normal. This side was actually a bit smaller. So I think it's gone back to normal now. Hello, Stephanie. Nice of you joining me here. So I'm just going to light some um, Palo Santo for a blessing of the cards and for the oracles and whoever is guiding you to come through to um, so that you can receive the message that you need to hear today. Um, I do this with the highest of respect and I call upon the guards and protectors of the land, the Aboriginal guards and protectors of Australia of where I reside. I humbly ask permission um, to give this reading for anyone who needs to hear this reading. Okay, I'm going to pull out a card for us for today. Just a general card for those of you who um, aren't sure what to ask for or um, anyone who's watching the replay who didn't get a chance to ask for a personalised card, then this reading is for you. Just going to shuffle the cards. So if you have any grounding stones or anything that will help you to, to be calm and grounded um, on this new moon in Taurus. Whoa, here's our card for today. It's flying out. Our card for today is time to go. Time to go. Where are you moving to? What is happening in your life? You know, the Taurus moon is a lot about action and um, implementing things and, and being practical and, and putting things into, you know, in, into process. And the number is 45 for our card today. So I'll just get to 45 and have a look at what the message of the oracle is today. It's a time of endings, it says, completion, walking away from something because there is nothing else to learn or experience. You are at the end of a journey and ha have not yet begun the next. This is a moment to bless your experience thus far. That is so true to actually, you know, bless and reflect on, on what you've been through thus far. You know, take stock of what you've learned, it says. It is time to move on to new experiences and a new way of being. Hmm, they're very appropriate. I, f I feel this card today. <laughs> there is nothing left for you to do, be or experience in the present circumstance. Look at her. She's moving on to a new door. See that little doorway there? Hi, Linda. Thanks for joining us here. I'll be able to pull a card for you today. So, new experiences. Um, take the risk and move on even if you need to be in transition for a time. Your destiny is calling you. That is so appropriate. Um, you know, being in bed and having your sight kind of affected with migraines, I don't know if any of you experienced that. You, you can't have bright light, you can't, um, you know, I couldn't watch TV, reading was painful, you know, the movement of the eyes. So it, it really helped me to sort of see my present situation and where I was at the moment and where I wanted to be. And a lot of my mind went to what I haven't done. So this is a really appropriate card because, you know, take stock of what you've learned. And I really had to make a conscious effort to have gratitude. And um, I pray a lot and I do mantras with my mala, which I don't have now. So I did like a, a around 108 beads, a round of gratitude of things that I'm grateful for. It was really difficult to think of 108 things that I was grateful for, but I had the time and I was in pain, so I did that. So it really helped me to see um, what I needed to clear um, and what I needed to do to move forward. And it does feel like a time of transition. And it's interesting that sometimes when we are transitioning and we know that we're transitioning, we want to get there already. <laughs> it's part of the journey of having that patience and, and going through 
what we need to go through that is really um really important but very very hard to do and just as i'm saying that the sun's breaking through um, a very cloudy melbourne day so i hope that that message today has helped some of you um, i'm sorry i'm a, a day late but you know now why i couldn't couldn't even pick up my phone yesterday <laughs> i was in the land of pain <clears throat> and i don't like to take aspirins or panadols and things like that so what i took was um lemon and um, turmeric i made up a little um, remedy that i um, had from when i was living in bali i remembered the um, the ladies the shamans there that would um that i'd work with they they used to make up a drink there was other ingredients in there like ginger and things but i couldn't go out to to get them so i just had the lemon juice and turmeric and it helped i think because today i'm up and I'm here. All right, so let's see what the cards have for you ladies today on a personal level. So if you'd like me to um, pull out a card for you, just say yes, please. And I will not presume anything. And I'll pull out a card when you ask. Just give them a bit of a shuffle. So just type in the comments yes please or me please there's stephanie thank you stephanie i'll pull out a card for you see what comes out for stephanie oh there's a lot around you stephanie thanks linda yeah i am feeling better i feel like i'm in the land of the living <laughs> linda wants a card as well not a problem thanks for letting me know so stephanie oh there's stephanie's card wow Wow, Stephanie, we had this card last week, but this is a lesson that you have to go in deeper to. Do you remember this card, Stephanie? Why? Why, why, why? Let's have a look. Um, I'm feeling called to ask you, Stephanie, is this card about relationship, um, career, or guidance? If you want to type in one of those words for me, I can read the appropriate um, wisdom to come through because I'm feeling that there's a lot going on for you Stephanie so just type in relationship career or guidance like spiritual guidance and I'll um, read that particular part because this little book is filled with gems so I want to be as specific as I can for you what are you feeling Stephanie relationship thank you okay relationship part of this card I'll, I'll hold it up so you can have a look at it um, relationship messages we don't always know why we engage in our relationships in the way that we do mostly because our feelings aren't always logical now is the time to recognize whether you are being triggered by someone else or if it's your behavior is motivated by unresolved issues of the past well okay when you ask yourself why am I feeling like this or why did I say that and spend some time in introspection? The answers may be surprising. Oh, I hope that's resonating with you. That's a very powerful message. Listen to the messages from your intuition. Here you go, messages inside of you. From the knowing deep within, within you. <laughs> what does it tell you about yourself? I'm just gonna have to turn the page. What does it tell you about yourself and others? I'll just fix that up. In the end, life is all about being loved. Miracles and deep understanding of your needs and how to get them met are buried in the treasures of the why. Uncover them by posing the most powerful question you can ask yourself and your partner today. Why? So that's a very, very powerful message. In the end, it's all about being loved, yeah? Miracles and deep understanding of your needs and how to get them met are buried in the treasures of the why. So um, spend some time in introspe introspection, Stephanie. And the answers are inside of you. you. You already know that. I feel that you already know that. But it's just a time to, especially in this new moon, just to get practical and get down. And um, if you pray, to pray. Or if you meditate, to meditate. Or if you walk then walk slowly and and look at um, 
look ask for the answer listen it because it's inside of you so that's a beautiful message i hope that that helped you a little stephanie and now we have linda i believe linda's still here yeah linda's still here good okay linda um what is your question going to be about i'll give you the same choices relationship um career or guidance spiritual guidance so there may be like a message from your from your guides or your angels so just type in linda relationships uh career or business and or um spiritual guidance let's see what card comes out for you for linda what have we got for linda there it is Ooh, linda's uh, relationships look at this card happy happy <laughs> happy happy linda <laughs> it's a beautiful card 26 relationships 26 I like this card Let's see have a look at it there it's beautiful relationships there are moments in a relationship when you feel when you just feel good about whom you're with and you know in your heart and you know in your heart you and you know that your heart is wide open to befriend, to love, and to care for one another without wanting anything in return. <laughs> you love your fairies, that's good. This is a kind of happy that is just, that you just want to share. The appearance of this card in the reading tells you that joy and contentment are here now, not somewhere else off in the future. The grass is the greenest right where you stand. Be grateful and delight in your relationship. And if you're seeking one, be happy now. Happiness attracts more of itself, like bees to honey. So if you are in a relationship, you're in a good place, yeah? And if you're not in a relationship, Linda, it's time to start attracting it with that happiness that you have inside. So I hope that that message has resonated with you. I love pulling cards out for you guys. It's good fun. So this is this is what I do for a living. I um I have clients and I see them online or I see them live on the phone, and it's just lovely to share this gift and um, with you all. So I hope that that message um, resonated with you. And Rose has just joined us. Let's see if Rosa would like a card. Rosa, we're just pulling out um wisdom oracle cards to see if there's any wisdom that's coming through for you and linda let me know if that card resonated with you and rosa if you would like me to pull out a card for you because you made it here live just type in the comments um yes please or me please and i know to that i have your permission to pull out a card for you so these are beautiful oracle cards by Colette Baron Reed. I'll have to get some more of her cards. They are very beautiful. And the mis images are beautiful too. You're confused, Linda. Um, are you, I don't know if you want to share this with us, but are you confused because you are in a relationship and, or are you confused that you're not in a relationship? Because the card was about the happiness, really. Thank you, Rosa. I'll pull out a card. I just want to help Linda first get out of her confusion because I would hate her to leave here <laughs> confused. So I'll just wait for Linda if you want to share what you're confused about. We'll see if we can clear something for you. Twenty-six. Maybe it was the way I read something that confused you. It takes a while to type, th type things out and then it's got to come all the way to Australia <laughs> when you're typing. 
no, I didn't meet someone and it, I did meet someone and was happy last week, but he's pulled away. You also said last week that he wasn't my type. I said that he wasn't your type. Mm, okay. Um, so I'll just read the message again because I, I can feel what you're saying. And it says, happiness attracts more of itself like honey to bees. So I think then the message that may clarify your confusion, well, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that the message that will clarify your confusion is that um, when you resonate or permeate happiness to others, so you're feeling that happiness that you have inside and you're bringing that out to others, it will attract those around you. Um, so if you're interested in this um, person in your relationship and they're pulling away, it might be time to have a look at what you're attracting and it could be something that you're um, projecting to him that will make him repel or sometimes we can in a relationship cling on too hard and it pushes others away. Sometimes we need to retreat back and just if you sit back in your happiness it may bring him back because relationship is that ebb and flow so it might be about that ebb and flow that's happening at the moment. Now if it's somebody that you think no nah, it's not going to work out and you know in your heart Linda if it's somebody that is right for you now if he is then um, it's just time to sit back in your happiness and he'll 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 feel that he'll feel that joy that you have and he'll come back but if it's somebody that you don't want and he's not good for you then you know that then um, stay in your own happiness and create your own happiness so that you will like a bee manifest and attract those that are right for you so I hope that that helps let me know how if that helped any of your confusion and Rosa let's see what we've got for Rosa whoa there's Rosa's card flying out <laughs> this is your card Rosa number 35 loyal heart loyal heart let's have a look at this card what a beautiful card look at those owls aren't they gorgeous lovely 35 this deck really inspires me creating my own deck this is beautiful um rosa with the oracle cards i can is that helped good linda thank you yes that's oh i'm so glad thank you i'm glad that that helped um rosa you have a choice today you can um feel if you're feeling into a relationship that you want me to read the relationship part of um, the oracle cards wealth or business or if it's something that concerns you on a spiritual level there's three types of messages here for you so um, just type in either relationship uh, business or wealth and or you can just type in spiritual so that I know what part to read for you because there is a general part I'm mean, just feeling today people need a bit something a bit more substantial because um, of the yeah, I call it the dark of the moon. Some people call it new moon. The dark of the moon in Taurus is, is really very practical. It kind of makes us go a bit black and white and like we want clarity and we want process and we want um, things to be clear and um, a matter of fact, you know, we've got that sort of energy around us. So um, I just want to be as clear for you as possible. So I'm just waiting for spiritual. Okay, thank you, Rosa. I'll just turn to that part. Okay your card <laughs> I'm reading just what it says I'm not saying this about you are you stubborn or overly tenacious about an idea or have you become so attached to something that you just don't know how to let it go hmm. could it be that it's become so much a part of you that you wouldn't know who you are without it now is the time to look at outdated beliefs, old ideas and misplaced loyalties. Betrayal is only a signal that it is, a, that it is time to prune away all who don't deserve your trust mm, and have no place in your life. Be new, think new and open your heart to new things. Let go of the old and all of your attachments 
Spirit has awesome plans for you. Make some room. Wow, that's very, very powerful message, Rosa. I, I hope that you felt that. That was really a um, very deep message. So thinking about who it is that you need to let go of, even on a spiritual level, not, not physically, if it's somebody in your family, just to let go of them in terms of the loyalty to the wrong thing and being loyal perhaps to your heart, you know, to what you really believe. Very deep messages today. I hope that that has um, helped you in some way, Rosa, and thank you for being here live. Um, if you have anybody that could benefit from these readings, just um, ask them to join our group and let me know that they're a friend of yours because I'm, I'm quite particular about who I let in this group. I just don't let anyone in. I want it to make it a community of, of women who, you know, have got that warmth in their heart and are very giving like all of you are. I can feel you. And so, you know, it's quite an intimate group and I want to kind of keep it that way. I don't accept everybody and so I'd rather accept people that you know, that you trust, that you want to be in this group um, because, you know, it's important to be around people who will benefit from this but have the same, are like-minded. So yeah, just ask and friends to join and I'll be posting a lot more um, next week. I'm going to start planning out a few different live things that I can do during the day and the readings will be on the Sunday try and keep it on the Sunday, the Sunday and um, the Thursday Melbourne time. So um, that will be Wednesday and Saturday for American or the Northern Hemisphere. All right. So, well, that was good for you, Rosa. Thank you. I appreciate you um, saying that. And I'm glad that the messages helped you. And have a lovely weekend, ladies. I'm going to um, do a bit of planning for next week so I can come on live and give you some more um, things that I've learned. You know, it's I feel really called cool to pass it on. So if it helps you on a spiritual level, a creative level, and helps you with your own intuition, um, then I'd love to help in some way if I can. Until then, um, I hope you have a lovely weekend and I'll see you on Saturday if you're in the Northern Hemisphere or Sunday if you're in the Southern Hemisphere. Bye for now. Mwah.